ask me, ask me uh, the, how much a Buddha and a Tara can help you, something. I said uh, 30%, 40% is something I already said that. And that is a little slightly off the, the game. <laughs> off the game. So what it is, generally in the teaching, we, I mean, generally according to teaching, the Buddha is helping all the time, as we mentioned earlier. Pervasive continuation, spontaneous all the time. All the time. But we will receive that help to us, then maybe 40%, 30%, or even 10%, or even 5%. That we will receive that help. It's like if I use the example. The sun is shining all the time, for example. But according to situation, circumstance, we cannot get light all the time. Why? It's not an error of the sun, mistake of the sun, but according to circumstance, situation, block. Even the sun is right above us, if they are thick, thick clothes, we won't see the sun. Only with the light, it's daylight. Similarly, Buddha is the, the help or the benefit of the pervasive. That due to our karma, due to our habit pattern of the clothedness, we don't receive poor power, poor benefit, because it's our blockage of our karma, our emotions, our obscurations. That's what the daily teaching said. This is the story also, for example, like great master. Master uh, Asenga, when he is practicing, practicing Magdira, Magdira for 12 years. This great master Asenga, he is the one of the great masters in the Buddhist history. He is the one of the great philosophies, physics, thinkers, and science, or whatever we call. Really one of the greatest ones. And he was predicted by the Buddha Shakyamuni. But in order to behold the material, Future of Buddha Maitreya, he practiced 12 years. During that time, in the teaching, he said he had hardly any dreams, good dreams of that. Each time, many times, he tired, he bored, he disappointed. Why this? I practice it, I didn't see any signs that I'm going to leave this. And finally, he left, actually. He left. After 12 years, he didn't have any signs. He thought really he will see the Buddha Maitreya and he's going to ask questions about the Pandya Paramata teachings. Because the Pandya Paramata teachings, have you, I mean, it's not translated, but Pandya Paramata teachings, such as big Pandya Paramata teachings, is so many repetitions. Repetitions. So many repetitions, one after another, round after another. He thought, what is this? This. And I like to exactly the meaning of this, what this means. Buddha don't really gossip. But it's, what is this? This. So he asked, who will know? He went to the many great masters. Nobody really can tell clearly exactly is that. And then he said, if, if you can, only who will know is a And they said, so I can see Maitre. He is pushing the heaven, enjoying in the, the God's realm. <laughs> How I can see him? He said, no, if you receive the instruction, the teaching, practice, you practice, then you really will see. So then he was excited, he did the instruction and teaching, and then he practiced, he went to retreat, and he practiced there. He thought it kind of soon, he practiced, not practiced, he will see the, the material. But he didn't see, as he said, for 12 years, he didn't see. And then he kind of, he's, he's really tired, he's tired, bored, in a way, he's disappointed. He said, I'm going to leave now. He left, finally, left. On the road, road he see one old dog, old dog, dog. The lower part of body is completely rotten and with maggots. Maggot, right? Maggots. And many of you know these stories too. So I'm just telling that again. Yeah. And uh, maggots. And upper part of the body is still light. And as soon as the I think of approaching close, she started barking, or he started barking. I think always she did, uh, like she said, Chimo. So she started barking. He felt so compassion. Really thought, oh, how bad she is, so sick.
sick. She's so terrible situation, but yet she's trying to defend it. Has something. She feels people so sad. So with his outward compassion, he tried to save her. Hey, give some food, food and all these things. So this long story, kind of let me few small stories. But then finally, then he's trying to first he's trying to move this megadis. Megadis, even his teachings that he cut his own part of flesh, body, and then trying to move that. But he can move easily those megadis. He don't like to kill also megadis too. Megadis, he like to move. He started to move, thinking to move by the finger, but the finger is too hard for the magnets. He thought he was going to move with his tongues. Tongues, even though it's a bacteria and all those things, but he didn't care, I think. So he closed his eye and he started moving, trying to move that. When his closed eye, he started moving by the tongue, a, he, that tongue touched to the ground. Then he did again, kind of like that, again the tongue touched the ground. Then thought, why is this? He opened the eye, and there is no old dog. There is no this uh, fem this female maggot. That right there, the bacteria is just glowing there, glowing there. And then he jumped to. I said, the jump to bacteria, bacteria embarrassed. I said, how are you unkind, uncompassionate? <laughs> After after that long, you even didn't show me signs. <laughs> And then Matthew said, I was there the first day you came, but you didn't show me. I was there all the time. You never saw that. Today, why you saw? Because of your power, your compassion. You saw me. You call that whatever blockage, whatever that is removed by compassion that you have. That is what you see. And you take me to the, you take me to the, on the, go, we go to the villages, see, they can see me now. So they went, we are talking, in the teaching said, that Asanga carried on the, his shoulder, and they went, and he asked the villagers, do you see anything on my shoulder? Nobody saw anything. He said, what is crazy, man? What is talking? You can see something. You can see. One old lady saw, again, one dog kind of dog that he's carrying. He's carrying. That's what he's doing. So these are just examples of this that really in the teaching said. So I just thought to tell that correct. <laughs> okay. Thank you. We stop here.